everyone. My name is Jack with the Mariah Mitchell Association. Today we're going to learn all about how to identify the invasive European green crab and we're going to compare them to some of our native species. So let's begin. So this is our target species. This is the European green crab. The e most easily identifiable features of this crab are the five marginal teeth on each side of the carapace as well as the three little rostral bumps in between the eyes. Um, the color um, doesn't vary too much. It's usually this um, darkish color with the little spots on each side. Um, the bottom can be kind of bright green or orange or red. Um, I'll show you an example of a, of a green one. The most common coloration on the bottom is this bright green color. But like we saw earlier, it can be orange or red. Um, it, it's a little bit of a spectrum, but most often they're green on the bottom. And so let's go over how to tell the difference between a male and a female. Telling the difference between a male green crab and a female green crab is actually pretty easy. All you have to do is flip the crab over and examine the abdomen, which is this small part on the bottom. Male green crabs like this individual have a relatively thin abdomen on the bottom and the abdomen is usually bright in color. The females on the other hand have a slightly wider abdomen. The abdomen is usually pretty dark um, and you can usually see the hair sort of coming out of the abdomen and the female just needs a wider abdomen because when she gets pregnant she has to hold all of her eggs under there so she needs all of um, that space that she can get to hold the eggs and this will be important I'll just hold up the the male and the female together this will be important for those of you who are interested in trying green crab caviar um, and what you do is um, open the apron or the abdomen of the female and extract the eggs great so now why don't we take a look at some of our native crab species so we can tell the difference. Probably the most common native crab species that we have here is this guy. This is the common spider crab. And it gets its name because it kind of looks like a spider, right? The carapace is very circular and you'll see spines all over it. And those are the key characteristics. The claws are relatively small compared to the size of the body. And these guys, when you see them, are very calm. They usually don't um, try to attack people or anything. Um, so if you don't bother it, it won't bother you. Another common native species is the lady crab. And the lady crab's biggest identifying feature is the beautiful cheetah print on their shell. And the lady crabs are unfortunately not quite as nice as the spider crabs. Um, so if you see them around, I would not try to disturb them or interact with them. Um, you'll also notice that the lady crabs have these flat back legs. These are called swimmerettes and they allow the lady crab to literally swim in the water column. Um, so these are pretty easy to identify. Um, they're also pretty flat as well. And uh, these guys, you'll mostly find them um, buried in the sand or if they get scared, they'll bury right in the sand and um, that's where they're happiest. The last native species I wanted to go over is the black-fingered mud crab, seen here on the left. The black-fingered mud crab is a native species that lives on eelgrass blades and in rocks, shells, and debris in and around eelgrass beds. And their biggest distinguishing feature, as per their name, is the large uh, black claws on the crab. They're pretty hard to tell from juvenile green crabs, um, but there are a few distinguishing features. Uh, the first of which is that the juvenile green crabs have much smaller claws uh, compared to their body size than a black fingered mud crab does. You can also see the five distinct marginal teeth on baby green crabs. And lastly, if you flip both crabs over, a baby green crab is almost always bright green on its underside, especially by its mouth and the black fingered mud crab is usually a much more sort of pale color. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out the Mariah Mitchell Association and Nantucket Land Council websites to view more Nantucket Green Crab Week events.